Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Now, what we're going to talk about today is probably one of the most controversial topics that I'm going to touch on here this early in the year anyway. I've got a lot of friends that own ISPs, a lot of friends who run, uh, run uh, WISPs, and so I'm sure they're going to be chiming in. I'm sure every network operator is going to be chiming in. But what we're talking about is how much internet or how much bandwidth do you need at home? Now, business is going to be, the requirements are going to be completely different. This is, uh, you know, bandwidth requirements, internet requirements, for home use, everything that goes on with home, maybe with a little work from home as well. So what I've got is I've got this, you know what, and before we even get, get that far, let me just start by saying, um, if you want gigabit and you want to pay for gigabit downloads and gigabit uploads, that is your prerogative. You are the consumer. Those are your hard-earned dollars, and if that's what you want and that's what you want to get, that's cool. If you can't find a provider to give it to you, you know, then that's something else. But if there is a provider and that's what you want, pay for it, you know. But do you need it? I don't know. All right, so let's take a look at the numbers. So you can uh, do the same thing that I did and Google everything that's here and then some. So what I did was I went to Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, uh, Disney+, Plus. Amazon Prime, Sling, Zoom, WebEx, uh, Nintendo, Facebook, um, and then just knowing um, how much file transfers can take up, we put that in here uh, in case you're working from home. And then uh, Ring uh, suggests uh, two megabits per device. So if you've got five devices, five Ring devices in your network, they would recommend 10 megabits. So you can Google these, go to the manufacturer, go to the websites, and uh, look at this same thing. So, how much internet do you need? Well, it's going to depend on how many devices you have and what those devices are going to be doing. So, if you've got a bunch of just little devices that are just giving you a little bit of noise, you know, you could take a look at your router, see what your throughput looks looks like with no real traffic, and that would kind of give you a baseline for those devices. So. But when we start looking at, you know, if, you've, if you're one person, so here, I've got this, uh, this calculator over here, this, or this sheet that I'm calling calculation, right? So uh, one person, and let's say you're going to watch Netflix HD, which by the way, I believe, and somebody correct me in the comments if this is wrong, when it comes to uh, Netflix or anything where they're not telling you sustained usage, that a lot of these services are bursting and you are... Um, you're buffering, right? So while Netflix 4K may need 25 megabits of download, it's not a sustained 25 megabits. It's a 25 megabit burst, and then it backs off, and then it bursts again, you know, when you're buffering the content. At least I think that that's how that works. So if I'm wrong about that, let me know in the comments. I know you will. Uh, but back over to our calculator, right? So if you're one person, and you're going to do Netflix HD... Let's say you're going to play Nintendo Switch. Let's say, um, what else are you going to do? You're going to do some uh, Zoom 1 on 1 1080. So you're going to need uh, Zoom 1 on 1 1080. Uh, let's see. And let's say you're going to do some file transfers from home. Um, and you're going to do like Excel sheets, uh, documents, PowerPoints, right? So not, not huge files. This is not like a design shop. And then let's say you've got a single uh, ring doorbell. And let's just say you do some, you know, web surfing. Um, you know, and I'm going to guess that that's probably not going to take more than five. But our Netflix HD is going to be five down. Our uh, Nintendo Switch is going to be three down. Our Zoom one to one HD is going to be 3.8 down. 
and then 3 up. What was our switch upload? Switch was 1 up. And then let's say, you know, we're connected to a VPN and we're doing file transfers at 10 megabits. So we got 10 and 10 to where we're doing that. And then ring doorbell, we're going to say we've got just a doorbell. So this is going to be our download upload. So for uh, one person, this doesn't look uh, too bad, right? So our total. And this is assuming that we're doing all of this at one at one time. Right, so let's do a sum there, I guess. So 28 down there, 10, 13, 15. So, so for one person to do all these things at once, now, this is just an estimate. It would be uh, about 29 megabits down and 16 megabits up. And that's if you're doing all of these things at the same time. So for a single person, one person, it's easy to calculate this where it really starts kind of going off the rails is, you know, we've got five people here and we've got one, two, three, four, um, four TVs, but they're not always going at the same time. But I mean, we use a plethora of services. You got, you know, HBO, Netflix, Hulu, um, you know, name a streaming service, YouTube that, that's on there, right? So we might have two of those devices. But definitely, everybody's got a phone. Those devices are always going. So who knows what kind of bandwidth TikTok is taking up. Um, and then you've got, you know, me doing work uh, from home at night, um, transferring files, uh, maybe a, a meeting. So when you start scaling it, that's where you can really, you know, run into issues. So for a family of five, if everybody is home in the evenings, is 100 megs down um, I mean, you got to think about PC gaming, Xbox gaming, PlayStation gaming. Is 100 down, 25 up unreasonable? Maybe not. Because um, if, you know, I've got one person and they can, you know, do all this. I mean, is it possible that your Ring doorbell is um, transmitting while you're on a Zoom call? And can you be on a Zoom call while web surfing? Yeah. Could you have Netflix going in the background? Sure. So it is realistic to think that you could hit this, but that's still not gigabit, right? And it is it is far away from us. So tell me what you think about this. Um, you know, I, I think it's interesting. How do you judge how much bandwidth you need? Is it based on want? Is it based on need? You know, I know people who are surviving on, um, you know, old DSL um, at speed slower than what the FCC recognizes as broadband. So, and while we have gigabit service here, we very rarely ever max it out unless we are, you know, purposefully kind of looking at doing that. So let me know down in the comments what you think. What kind of speeds do you have? Is it a, is it a want versus a need? Uh, we'll get into businesses. We'll do another uh, video on businesses. But this is primarily concerned with residential, with people kind of working from home. So uh, I'll also leave a public link to this uh, spreadsheet. So really, let me know what you think. This is going to spark great debate, and that's why I wanted to bring it up. So it's it's wants versus needs versus what you know makes us makes us feel good. So let me know down in the comments, and also give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. Those links are all down below. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon or by using all of our Amazon affiliate links, they are down below. They don't change your price, but kick a they do kick a couple bucks to the channel. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. Let me know how much internet you need. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.